What's next? Strong cold front just to the east of Seattle and Portland will barrel across eastern Oregon overnight and just blast across the gym state during the day tomorrow. That's why we have the wind advisory out, especially for the lower Snake River Plain, Pocatello, Blackfoot, American Falls. And that wind advisory also extends westward in the Magic Valley. See wind gusts as high as 50 miles per hour tomorrow. Of course, we'll get a blast or two of snow, snow showers throughout the day with the wind. So I wouldn't be surprised if it's kind of gets blizzard like out there. So something to keep in mind if you're going to be out and about on the ro open road. If you're traveling down the road into Oneida County, some snow falling over Malad Summit right now down to around Malad City. Looks like it's still warm enough for a little bit of rain and snow on the western side of the Magic Valley. That will start to move into the lower plain later tonight. Temperatures currently above freezing for most of us. In fact, the warm spot, at least in the Snake River Plain, is American Falls at 35 degrees, Blackfoot and Idaho Falls uh, at 34, along with Rexburg. Rexburg tonight will drop down to about 28 degrees. We're looking for a low of 23 in Island Park. So not a whole lot colder than it is currently. And then tonight we're looking at a low of 28 in Idaho Falls with a chance of snow showers overnight. The wind shouldn't be too bad. It'll pick up a little bit, turn breezy late tonight, southwest 5 to 15. For Pocatello, the wind will be a little stronger into the nighttime with a low of 30 and snow showers expected sometime after midnight, probably by early tomorrow morning. And then the wind really cranks up there. That's why we have the wind advisory out. Sustained wind speeds 25 to 35 miles per hour with gusts as high as 50. It will be windy in Idle Falls, but not quite as strong. Winds 15 to 30 with gusts around 40. Of course, snowy and windy is what we're going to call it all over the place here in East Idaho. Temperatures on the map tomorrow won't even get above freezing. And Chalice, 29 expected for high there. So that's quite a bit colder than we were today. A lot of us were in the 40s. Won't even see 40s over in the Magic Valley. You're going to have to drive uh, farther west to see 40s. Boise, 43 with a chance of showers. And thunderstorms, how about that? We got snow like you wouldn't believe down in the Salt Lake Valley. What's new there? Anywhere from one to four down low. Bench areas of Salt Lake City, uh, four to eight inches of snow expected through Saturday morning. Southeast Idaho Chevy dealer seven day forecast winter or wind, wind advisory for tomorrow. Gusts up to 50. Then there's a chance of snow all weekend for the first Weekend of spring. I know, it seems more like the first weekend of winter. Chance of snow in Idaho Falls, even colder. Then we'll start to warm up towards the middle part of next week. We may see some rain and snow next Wednesday. Rexburg seven day forecast. There's the snow and breeziness tomorrow. Chance of snow showers through Sunday. Monday we're okay, and then we'll start right back at it with more moisture, Teton area. Snow for at least the next three days. We have a nice little break on Monday. Enjoy it because I think we'll get more snow, at least a decent chance of seeing more fresh snow towards the end of the work week. And for the Central Mountains, same thing, just a snowy first weekend of spring. And then warming up enough, maybe by Thursday, we'll throw some rain in with that snow.